The impact on the workplace is hard to predict for any one individual. It does rather depend on which symptoms that they have and in what proportion. But there's a strong chance that you would find people who had previously been quite pleasant, sociable, easy to interact with, might start to get more guarded and then more careful about when they spoke and when they didn't, who they spoke to, where they went. They might start to try to avoid situations that were likely to become difficult, like um, potential confrontations with, um, with clients or with other people in the organisation where things hadn't worked out as expected. You might find people starting to, to run away, or you might see them keeping their backs to the wall and looking as if they're very vigilant, if they're scouting around looking from side to side for, for something that might happen. You might also find that people who've previously been able to look at problems from all sides and consider them very carefully and come up with a balanced and measured response might start to become more two-dimensional in their thinking, might start to see things as all or nothing, yes or no, black or white situations. So really the whole quality and character of the interactions that people have with the outside world can be quite damaged by post-traumatic symptoms. If you imagine that you're leading a life in, in which you, you spend half your time trying to keep away from things that might upset you and upset you very badly and that you can't really sleep properly at night and that you feel wound up and close to bursting point with, with all this history rattling around in the head all the time, uh, I think you could imagine that that would be a very, very difficult place in which somebody would, would be trying to act logically, normally and calmly but because of the extent to which they've been wound up by the past and by the symptoms that are manifesting in the present, it becomes extremely difficult to do that. So I suppose one of the things to look out for in people who you know have a, have a very difficult history might be changes of, the, of that kind, changes in which they, they start to behave less rationally, um, more um, all-or-nothing kind of thinking, and uh, an obvious physical tension and, uh, and, a, and a desire to get away from potentially difficult situations that, that might well appear in many people.